Hello, my name's Texas. Hi, I'm Dr. Syra. I'm Faison. I'm Anique. I think in traditional modes of healing, it's very individualistic, mm -hmm. right? It's very much about me and my problems. So I come in a room and I talk to one person and they help me through some stuff, whether through coaching or counseling or energy work or right. whatever, some sort of individual experience that I have. Right. And then I go home, back into my family, <laughs> back into my work, back, back into, into my life. day to day. Yeah. And that one hour or whatever amount of time I spent with that expert it, it doesn't always translate into right. the rest of my life, right? right? And that's what I've noticed um, in my work is that people come and they have this really profound experience and eventually, sure, they might see some long-term changes, but what's missing, there's two things that are missing. One is a sense of connectedness to other people on this mm -hmm. path. And the second is that long-term community. What I find too, from my own experience, and then what I've seen from people that have been in our um, in our center and working with our people is that what I find the most valuable is just the continual doing of it. So I've um, done some courses and done some workshops where then I could practice, basically practice, right? Take these methods and use them, use them, use them, use them. And all of a sudden, then I would see some change, but I was always on my own mm. doing that. I would have to, it's just a on-demand course and you'd plug yourself in and you do that all yourself. There was not very much connecting in yeah. with a group or even a person that would then hold me accountable. And then to create that, I would have to go someone to someone once a week to do that. And that's often just not feasible. It's yeah. not affordable. It's not accessible. And then I would kind of lose it. I would lose the practice. And I I would all of a sudden realize I was back to where I was before. Yeah. So yeah. that's what, for me, the community and people clicking in is that they can come back and come back and right. come back and come back. And all of a sudden, this clicking into who they are is just becoming, going to become what's familiar and what's normal. I think one of the things that I see a lot with folks that I work with is it's really easy to allow the ego to spiritualize things. And we have this concept that if I keep feeding this with even really good content, you know, <laughs> I've read another book on how to be more centered and I've read a book on yoga and I've read, and I, but it can be, it can not ever move from here to here if we don't allow it to. So what I like to do is I like to, to think that we're building a community that is is heart centered. So this is what we're teaching, mm -hmm. and we're not really teaching it anything. We're we're getting out of the way, it's like reminding help, people. Yeah, and we're we're helping people remember who they are because mm -hmm. that innate knowledge of who we are is there. So we don't need more stuff to cover it up, right? We, we don't need more knowledge. More content. We don't need more knowledge, right? Like this knowledge, we need more heart knowing mm -hmm. who we are, right? And not and because we've been do, I believe we've been doing this forever. You know, I, I believe people were doing this before there was a library or before there was language. It is who we are. So the the idea that we have to learn a bunch of stuff to be really hard and it has to be really cumbersome and I have to know a lot of things and I, to, I don't, to I, be spiritual. Yeah, to be which is <laughs> but it's true, right? That that's that that's that piece. So we want to build a community that, that believes that this can be done and it can be done relatively uh, not easy, but it doesn't have to be really hard. Mm -hmm. It has to be really heart centered. Mm -hmm. So I think anybody who wants to really find out who they are, really, really find out who they are, it's absolutely possible. I was in my mind a long time, for a long time, mm -hmm. for a long, long time. Like I had all of the uh, consuming all of these books and these videos and programs and events, like consuming the knowledge. And I had the language. Mm -hmm. I was speaking that language. But when, you know, when I actually needed it in my life, I wasn't living it. Mm. So when my when my wife needed me, I didn't show up. Mm. Right? When my kids needed me, I couldn't show up mm. because I wasn't living here. It was the knowledge was here, yeah. but here I was still that, you know, that scared little boy running around and trying to fix everything. Mm. And that that wasn't uh that wasn't helpful. And it was actually being part of different communities that got me through it. Mm. So the knowledge I had, but to be able to live to be able to show up somewhere and not be like, nobody's going to judge me, but like, oh, yeah, Monique's going to check in on me. Yeah. You know, like yeah, Texas is going to check in on me. 
Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. So now I have to be here, live here, and show up. Mm -hmm. And actually now take that knowledge and start applying it here uh, into in the heart, right? From living from that heart space. And and I want to open up that invitation to others. You know, the expansion project, that name is is very dear to our hearts. Mm -hmm. What we're seeing is that you can get to a place of everything's okay, right? Yeah, even, like life's yeah. okay. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm pretty I'm happy. My, I'm out of my crisis. Yeah, there's no crisis. I'm, you know, I'm doing my day-to-day. Right. -day. Everything's okay. Yeah. But where we're drawn is like, then what? Right. Right? So beyond I'll... just okay or good enough. Right. How do we expand into this like bigger, richer, fuller, life. more fulfilled yeah. life and relationships right. and connections? Like that's where really we're moving. Huge, right? Yeah. Really huge. So, so it's not just wellness. No, right? we're not. It's we're not talking wellness. Beyond that. Right. And and I think that we need to be awakened to that fact that we are so much more. Mm -hmm. right? That's what if anybody knows me, that's what really gets me going. If we if we could see who we were, and who we have the potential to be, we would be pretty excited about this life, right? And and we can get into that space so much easier than people think we can, mm -hmm. right? So it's, yeah, so we need to have expansion. And that expansion is, and, and we know even in, in nature, you're either expanding or you're contracting. There's no pause, mm. right? Mm. Right? You can't pause that. So Are you talking about plants, Texas? No, I yes, wasn't. Yes, you are. I was talking about fire. I'm talking um, about plants. <laughs> <laughs> but, but so we're going to, we're going to expand or we're going to contract. So we need to intentionally set I'm going to continue to grow. I'm going to continue to expand into this space. Mm -hmm. One thing that we've done for some time now is really allowed the evolution of what we are doing and how we're doing it. And really this community has come out of that. So we don't want to go, okay, we got that now and this is how it's going to be and it's going to be static. So we are entering into this with, with a pretty decent plan, but we want to allow for flow and movement and expansion so maybe it has to go more this direction or that direction so some of that's going to happen but the core pieces is that there will be live teaching every week twice maybe three times um, the main teachers will be doing most of that uh, Syra in Texas will be doing most of that teaching but once in a while, they may be able to go on a holiday. So it won't be every week, most of the time. And they will um, take a theme or take a topic or a specific um, methodology or whatever it is. And then through that discussion-based learning, take that out to where it feels like it's done. So that's in one way why we're, we're keeping it fluid. So then that's the teaching. So two times, possibly three times those additional times may be different modalities, something of interest, something to just stir up something new or, or, or just not to have it be so introspective and so heavy, but maybe something that's a little lighter or just a different experience, maybe breath work, maybe sound healing, maybe some neurographic art or maybe uh, some other topic on some science-y stuff or whatever, more interest-based. Mm -hmm. Um, and then two to three meditations also live, also per week. We believe in the incredible transformative power. We've seen it. We've experienced it ourselves of meditating in a group. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for the numbers to increase and to go, oh, my God, we're, mm -hmm. we're meditating with a thousand people, two thousand people. Yeah, That's I've got goosebumps. Yeah. And our desire is to bring that that deep connectedness and to bring it often right. so that you can show up for as much or as little as you want, but there's going to be something to show up for and connect mm -hmm. into and to come back and come back and come back and really, really build that yeah. knowledge of each individual's inner self. We're providing these live sessions. So including the meditations, including these class they are going to be available as a recording kind of yes. later on in that same same day. Uh, we're hoping that they will be uh, available uh, quickly. And, you know, one of the things, um, you know, I'm sure we'll get to it in our teaching within the community is that 
there's this concept of time, right? Like mm-hmm. this linear concept of time. So even if you're watching it as a recording, because I know some people struggle, right, to make it into these live sessions. But even if you're watching it, you can kind of connect right into that same consciousness mm-hmm. as it was live. And so, it, you know, th- this worry about like, am I going to get anything out of it, even if I'm doing the meditation afterwards? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I know I've done some meditations after uh, you know, uh, like Sire's recorded some of those meditations, Texas has recorded meditations. And when you kind of do it afterwards, it yeah. feels the same. It, it, it feels like I'm still connected to that same energy that was generated in right. the room and in that space in that particular so-called time. It's been my experience that all of the, sh- and I like to call them shifts that have happened in my life, were in a nanosecond shifts. Mm. It's like I did this I, I kind of was moving towards this. And then at some point I made a decision mm-hmm. and I shifted. Right. So mm-hmm. it's the hanging on to get to that shift point that keeps us stuck. And we want to teach people how to, to move quickly through that place so that they can let things go, see the change, know the change, not just up here, but here and move, move on. There's no finish line. So there will always be new things that come up. But once we learn it, oh, I can let this go mm-hmm. in, a, in a deep way, we can heal. A lot of us smart people just um, try to avoid, avoid feelings, yep. avoid connecting, right? And and what I'm hoping is that this place, it's not about here, mm-hmm. right? Sometimes we might just be sitting in silence for the group mm-hmm. because that's what's called for. And I hope people are able to tap into that and actually feel mm-hmm. that they belong. So I know I struggle with belonging. Mm. And so, um, so I'm hoping that's the space we we, we open up to them. That's the goal. That's the heart. We, we don't take that lightly. Right. Yeah. We are inviting you into our home, into our space, in that virtual sense. And every person is vitally important. In my own personal journey, what's been most powerful for me is group work, Mm -hmm. right? Group work and community, knowing that there's like a place to land and a place to belong. And over this last year in the community that we've been building here internally, um, the idea that we could expand that and actually include more people into that, that's what really fires me up. We can chip away (laughs) at this problem and that problem and this problem and that problem and this problem and that problem. And the human experience is always going to give us problems, right? But when we kind of come back to like, who really are we and what are we really doing here? Then we have to ask those spiritual questions, right? Right. And so to build community around these like deep... Around those questions. Yeah. And and a community that's not necessarily like about, you know, religion or something like that, but about these like deep beliefs around connection and belonging and we're all the same right right? and we all have maybe different pathways up the mountain but we're all trying to get up this mountain of like self-awareness that's what i think um so spirituality is the foundation of all of that right right? that's that's what i've been learning in my work is you can't remove that because that's who we are right our personality is not who we are it goes with that authenticity piece if we try to move ahead without understanding who we are we're going to fail Right, because we're trying to be something, something that we're not. That we're not, and who we are is actually spirit and like the soul, and that's right. the same between all of us. And if that's we right. could come together and like help each other and grow right. and learn from each other, like how exciting is that? Is this idea of perfection that you know, for me to show up in a place, I have mm-hmm. to be at a certain level. Mm-hmm. I, yes, you know, we're, we're hoping that you will be accountable. Mm-hmm. Uh, you will be. Uh, you want to do this. You want to actually go deeper. You want to transform. You want to expand your consciousness, uh, which means you actually own this space. You you own your process. You own your uh, uh, judgments. You own your progress. You own your own growth. All of those things are still your capacity, just in a kind of in a group setting. But there's no perfection. And we're hoping people will just show up not having to be perfect. This is not that place. This is a place where like, okay, why am I not? Why am I struggling today? And hopefully you can get to your answer that way. Many years ago, I was introduced to this idea of um, the group mind. Mm -hmm. And recently, new language has come around. And you may have heard about unity consciousness, right? Something about it, yeah. A little bit of something about it. So what... What I've learned is that 
in a group, if we go deep enough, um, every individual person in that group is holding something for the collective, right? right? So say in a family group, everybody in the family group is holding something right. for the collective. Now, when groups of people come together intentionally right. for healing, right? And yeah. for recalibrating and recentering, mm -hmm. now we're, we're, we have the opportunity to learn from like a room full of teachers. Right. Right. And, and we could actually live our life that way where right. everybody we interact with is a teacher. That's how we're supposed to live it. So when we, so bringing the group idea um, amplifies a person's personal healing journey right because now it's and i see this in in the workshops that we run right whether mm -hmm. virtually or in yep. person that somebody's going through an experience and by listening to that you're getting your Somebody own insights yeah. yeah it's like it's not your story right but you're you're healing and you're letting go and you're growing right. because of the insights that you're witnessing right. in real time we were talking about that uh you and i the other day about this idea that we're we're dissolving that that sense of of not being part of something right that separate the separateness right because right? we're taught that our society loves that right I mean, bigger fences bigger walls mm -hmm. less you are you i am me we're not the same and don't get in my right right but the reality is that's not true right at the deepest level we are all one mm -hmm. and we've had like people have we had experiences that. of that yeah. they, they know it in their like in their bodies right. yeah and so we just through like a group meditation we've had people experience that well, yeah like yesterday yeah yesterday we had uh, a group meditation and i was observing uh it was profound to me I, I i went home with it that in the start we were so individual and then at the end when we shared we moved from the me to the we mm -hmm. everybody that talked about it was talking about the meditation we did mm -hmm. the things that we experienced the things that we saw and at the start there was 15 or what 16 different people and we're social mammals like we came to live yeah. in groups yeah that's how we're designed yeah. and so we're and some of the wounding that we've experienced has also happened in sure. groups whatever groups that we were part of and so the healing can also happen in it happens those faster it happens like that right. Wait,